So I've already read The Student as Nigger by Jerry Falber in the first three videos, and now I'm just talking about the education uh, at UofL in general. Um, here I found an article, UofL riots classified as immature. So this shows the mentality of the student cardinal newspaper back in the 60s. It's amazing when you look at these uh, the black uh, protests that were happening because white people were so fucking all over the place. It was all fucking assholes. Every one of them was assholes. Even the fucking student newspaper. The student newspaper, which you would think that the student newspaper would be for the students. But the cardinal wasn't for the students this year. Just like SGA wasn't. Just like the administration was. In fact, there was nobody. There was nobody. I haven't went to uh, uh, their counseling center and I didn't get a call back. So I, I tried talking to a lot of people. The bureaucrats wouldn't fucking talk to you. The professors try to hold some sort of power over you. The administrators don't have any fucking power. They're absolutely worthless. So the little bit of power that they do have, they try to fuck you over with it. The All Card Center, the uh, UofL, um, the ANS uh, uh, Center at the, the Gardner Hall, the Gardner Hall, the um, Gotts, Gotts Chalk Hall. If you had anything relevant, you know, um, to speak about. I don't know. Maybe I just couldn't figure out how to maneuver UofL well, but it was, I've read all their fucking documents, they have like 15 different constitutions, fuck STA's constitution, fuck all the student constitutions in graduate school, if you're trying to get in with them, you'll need to know about this, but the main document you need to know about is, um, uh, Pharaoh Ramsey's, James Ramsey's, President James Ramsey's hierarchy of organizations, understand his system, understand how he runs things, and you'll be able to ma maneuver, uh, the system pretty well. But this is the article that the Cardinal had written, so here's it, here it goes. Last Thursday, there was a student demonstration against higher tuition rates. It was supposed to illustrate school spirit or something or other. What it illustrated was the policy of, let's not find out why this is happening. Let's just complain. And why bother trying to think up another way to raise money? Thinking is too complicated. It's fucking insulting. He's making fun of the entire fucking thing. And, of course, they don't, you know, the fucking, they don't put their names on it. They just act like the editorial board came up with this when this is usually just the Bailey Pulliams or the, you know, the main people that's on the board. So the demonstration occurred before the distribution of the cardinal in which we tried to indicate the necessity of gaining further funds for the university. However, judging by the nature and intelligence of the part of the demonstration that we witnessed, we are sure that any attempt at reasoning would have been completely dismissed. Several choice comments were heard rather which rather reduced the importance of the demonstration to its proper proportion. One was, isn't it a shame that they only have new convertibles and sports cars to ride around in? Another was simply, the natives are restless today. The logic behind the demonstration seems to us to have been rather naive. Evidently, it was that, one, the sound of a dozen horns can produce money magically from undreamed of sources or will immediately reduce the need for further funds. Two, that if the students wave enough signs and honk enough horns, the administration will make concessions to their maturity and new uh, uh, and sound judgment. And three, it is possible to maintain new buildings, keep a good faculty, and make needed improvements in equipment in the year of our Lord, 1957, on an antiquated budget. In the year of our Lord, man, fuck this guy, fuck this author. I hate the in the year of our Lord, Anno Dominion. It's just uh, some bullshit. He's fucking trying to pad his fucking article so he can get a hundred, you know, five hundred words or whatever. The most beautiful example of the last type of reasoning was heard from the student who coupled two complaints in their conversation. The first was, of course, the higher tuition. The second was that the air conditioning in several buildings has not been turned on. Which is, if it's fucking hot, that's, those are fucking issues. Tuition is still an issue. It's an issue back in the 60s. It's an issue today. And this is the 60s, back in the 60s and 70s. Like, what the fuck were y'all protesting? Then that was when tuition was like $500 fucking dollars. You were, were y'all protesting that it was starting to be charged $500? My God, I would love if it was $500. That's $1,000 per year, $4,000 the entire time you're here. I'm 50 fucking thousand dollars in debt. 50 fucking thousand dollars in debt. 50 fucking thousand. And I'm getting more loans, so getting farther and farther in debt. 50,000 and probably going to be another 10, maybe 15, another 20,000 on top of it. I'll be 70,000K uh, in the red or black or whatever the fuck it is. The, um, 50, 70,000 in the negative. So even if I was to win 70,000 bucks, I'd still be at zero. The person who is broke has more money than me. The person who is broke has more money than me. The homeless guy on the street who's got nothing, also has no debt, is better off financially overall than me. Well, I don't know. I got a shelter, so uh, I definitely will be thankful for that. Um, so, let's see. The issue involved seems to be that of simultaneously having and eating the same slice of cake. <laughs> he changed it. It's a stupid saying anyways. You can't have your cake and eat it too. Why the fuck have cake if you can't fucking eat it? 
You can have your cake. You can't have your cake and eat it too. Somebody will say you can't have your cake and eat it too. Well, why can't you have? Why can't you have both of those things? Who the fuck gets cake and doesn't fucking eat it? Who the fuck just leaves cake lying around? Who the fuck just leaves cake on a plate and on the fucking table and just walks away? Of course you can have your cake and you can eat it. But it's not really that. But there seems to be a desire to get all the improvements that have been deemed necessary to maintain present facilities and to keep a top-rate faculty without paying for it. Let's be realistic. We're supposed to be adults. Since when do you get anything without paying for it? The present tuition has been stretched as far as it will go. It has not increased with the increase in living costs. Therefore, the day when we must pay more is inevitable. <laughs> Watch out. The tuition's fucking coming up. Fuck you, Cardinal. You fucking bastards. You fucking Cardinal dicks. Y'all didn't give a fuck when Nader was fucking speaking at the fucking thing. You're not actually going after the fucking truth. You don't give a shit. You don't give a fucking shit. I guess you're on the payroll. Pharaoh Ramsey's paying your fucking dollar, so you're just a propaganda arm in order to make Pharaoh Ramsey seem like he's a fucking god. They didn't give a fuck about shitting all over the fucking Greeks when they were burning fucking couches and shit when we won the sports, and then the next day, Bailey's like, where's my fucking cards at? Well, you just fucking shat on them, because one of them that was exciting burned a fucking couch down, and you know what? That was uh, some fucking interesting bullshit, but it was the very least interesting. I didn't see it. I just read it that you fucking reported it, and that's all I heard about it. If you didn't report it, it wouldn't have been real. It wouldn't have happened. It wouldn't, I wouldn't have given a fuck, just like the many other insignificant fucking actions that happened throughout the day. Y'all's choice of what's news and what isn't is ridiculous, and it's stupid, and you're fucking corporate-owned, and you're just going to be a fucking corporate uh, um, Uncle Tom fucking obedient dog for the rest of your life. For the rest of your life, you're just going to be obedient, Miss, Miss, Mr. Miss Obedience, right, to the corporate system. The issue involved seems to be that uh, eating your cake, there seems to be a desire to get all the improvements deemed necessary. As stated last week, you cannot compare the tuition at a municipal institution of limited government support to the tuition at a state university with its support from state taxes. Since we have heard so many complaints about the comparative high rates at UofL, we obtained a chart prepared by a national high school Organization for Students Graduating from High School. It gives the vital statistics of many colleges and universities in this general area. As we expected, as we expected, because we're so much smarter than you, we found that the cheapest tuition rates are at state universities. We could cite two universities comparable to U of L in this area. One is U University of Cincinnati, where expenses are estimated at $577 a year, not including room and board. So Cincinnati, I wish I knew, the 60s or 70s, Cincinnati... $577 a year. $577. That's less than 1000 That's less than 2000 for the entire four-year tuition at UC. The second is Vanderbilt Independent College, where expenses of also exclusive room and board are estimated at five, $650 a year. $650 a year. That's still less than 2000 Less than $2,000. You fucking increased my shit from 25 times much. Maybe if the fucking Cardinal would have took a fucking stance back then these days, maybe we could have actually done something. 40 fucking years, 40 fucking years our education system in America has been fucked. They're a municipal college with support corresponding to UofLs where a student can attend for much less tuition. We found several. There is just a junior college at Flat River. Of course, we're not saying this is a poor school. Wherever it is, it just costs $160 a year and has all of 18 teachers. They're totally fucking making fun of it. 18 teachers is a good fucking amount of people, and you can do some really good stuff. St. Joseph Junior College sounds better than this fucking elitist fucking dickhead fucking university. So tuition is only $95.50 a year. It's got a staff of 22 at uh, St. Joseph Junior College. Junior College at Flat River was the one before that. Or how about uh, Georgia Military College? It doesn't seem to grant a degree, but it uh, only costs $375 a year. It has a teaching staff of 22. You see what we mean? We believe and will continue to state as often as necessary that we, the students of U of L, are well off. Well, to sell some whole fucking thing off, we're a bunch of sellout pieces of shit. We're going to be a bunch of rich kids for the rest of our fucking life, and uh, we're the future establishment for Kentucky and Louisville, so... Watch out, Louisville. UofL's producing lots of fucking corporate-ass sluts, fucking corporate whores, people who don't mind selling their morality and ethics and dignity just for the dollar bill. They don't have their own fucking minds. They don't have any integrity or dignity. They got no souls. They can't wait to fucking sell out and start fucking everybody over. That's why you need politics. You need politics so these business fucks don't go way past... They'll do whatever they can in order to fuck over the common person. They always have. That's fascism. FDR and Mussolini define fascism as when 
the state and business become one, when the corporation and the government become the same thing. 200 U of L students joined in protest. About 200 Black University of Louisville students joined in a rally in March yesterday to protest what they termed discriminatory treatment by the U of L campus security police. Again, the fucking police. The fucking police are shitty. This year, the shitty. Last year, they fucking stole my tent. The campus police did. Actually, the campus police ain't just the police no more. It's a physical plant. Physical fucking plant is now the police. The physical plant took my tent and then give it to the campus police. So physical plant think they're the fucking Nazis now. Anybody in the administration just wants to fucking pick up some power. And fuck Travis Galt. He's a bastard. God, he's such a piece of shit. I hate when you actually, like, look at somebody and you give them opportunity and credit and say, oh, you know, maybe, maybe they're just doing this or maybe they're just doing that. They're not trying to fuck me over. They're not just pushing me off to the side. They're not just trying to marginalize and make me insignificant. And then to come out uh, later on, that's exactly what the fuck they were doing. That's exactly what the fuck they were doing. And that's why, I mean, I could do this cowboy shit for so long, but if I don't have somebody kind of giving me perspectives about how things are going down on shit, man, I'll just fucking, I don't know. I'll follow a fucking, go on a wild goose chase for, for quite some time. So anyways, fuck Travis Galt, right? Fuck Mary Mudd. Um... Fuck Ziegler. Fuck Charles Ziegler. Sheree Wallace. Fuck her. Fuck. Fuck most of the professors, actually, that I had. I guess it'd be easier to say the exceptions. <laughs> uh, 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 Professor Dills. Professor, um... He's a good one. Professor, um... Uh, Trisha J. Gray. She's a good one. And they're good because they integrate... Uh, your questions into their uh, into their curriculum. Uh, they're not as democratic as I'd like for them to be, but if you wanted a question or had a comment, you were able to make it in class if you wanted to do that. And I appreciate that because you know once I said my comment, once I got to say the thing that I got to say, then I'm I'm cool. You know I'm cool. I can go home and take a bath and not worry about the bullshit. But when I can't ask a question, Sheree Wallace in her class there is a there's a black woman, young black woman. I can't remember her name, but the uh, young black woman was in the class, and she had her hand raised for about 20 fucking minutes. For 20 fucking minutes, she just kept it just kept it raised, just kept it up, and just was like, you know what? I'm bound to de determine to say something. I've been reading the fucking readings. I have something to say about black politics, and I'd like to share it with the class about it. And, uh, and uh, eventually, after 20 minutes, Sheree Wallace got mad, and she goes... Ugh, let me speak, Jessica. Jessica's her name. Jessica, let me speak. Jessica, let me speak. That's what she said to her. Let me speak. You you spoke for an hour every day. Every day you got to speak. And you spoke for 20 fucking minutes in. Let her fucking speak. Let us have a dialogue. Let's see what a democracy actually looks like. We want to learn about the oppressed and the oppressors. When you guys are the oppressors, the professors are the oppressors. Let's see what democracy actually looks like. Charles Ziegler taught democracy. He fucking, at least taught us words about democracy. He was anti-democratic and was proud of it. I'm a dictator and I'm glad of it. I'm, that's the way, damn well way I like it too. And I damn well like it that way. That's his exact quote. Charles Ziegler was happy that he was the dictator. How are you going to teach democracy class and be happy about the dictatorship? How are you going to teach democracy class and not get us to making consistent consensus-based decisions and to making decisions based on the group? How are you not going to do that? How are you not going to get us to talk to each other? That's incredible. That's incredible. The American education system is so fucking oppressive. They can make a class of seemingly scholars, right? These are fucking the, the captains of industry. These are the smart folks. Sit like dumb, obedient fucking sheep. About ready to get an ass raping, and they just fucking take it. You know? Bunch of sheep getting ass raped, right? You know? It, the ass is fine. <laughs> I mean, whatever. It is what it is. Um, but raped, you know? Raped. So that's our that's democracy class. Charles Ziegler did not fucking teach us democracy. He taught us a bunch of fucking terms about democracy. He actually taught us anti-democracy. And I was actually striking up a conversation with some of the folks after class. Or before class one time. And I was talking to one of them and I made a joke. And I was like, you know what? Maybe democracy is not the best system. And it was a joke because I believe democracy is the best system we got. And when I mentioned that, one of the guys was like, you know what? I don't think that has been adequately determined. <laughs> So he doesn't think democracy actually actually works. 
So democracy doesn't actually work, right? Anyways, uh, U of L, Viva La Revolution. Come on, students, it's time to stand up. Take your stage on the stage of history. Don't be like your fucking corporate fucking sellout fucking losers. They can't wait to put on a suit and sell out. We need some good people. We need honest people, pure people to speak up and speak their mind. Occupy. Viva la revolution, Louisville.